Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another movie review. You have to excuse me, my um, throat's a little bit scratchy. Hopefully I can get over it tonight. <clears throat> but I recently watched one of um, Studio Ghibli's final films other than uh, Kaguya, which I've already done a review for. This is one. This one is called uh, The Wind Rises. This one takes place during World War II, and you have the main character, Jiro, who, from his youth onward, he just has this fascination with airplanes, and he comes to really emulate this um, Count character from Italy, who meets him in his dreams, and he always tells him that airplanes are cursed models of engineering because the moment they enter the sky, the sky swallows them up. And it's very interesting due to the war, <clears throat> a lot of those planes got swallowed up due to other planes attacking them. And it's it's rather sad, especially what happens between he and um, Naori. And <clears throat> Naori, he meets her when she's very young. And... <laughs> It's a very it's a very sweet story. He's just uh, Jiro is the the penultimate example of a true gentleman, and I'm thinking this is exactly what I'm looking for in a mate. This this somebody who goes above and beyond and really has devotion for the one he loves. Because later on you find out something about uh, Nori, and it's really quite tragic and actually I cried when I saw that particular part of the film I was just you know very touched by it it, it was really quite sad and the animation is absolutely gorgeous and the soundtrack is tremendous and through the um, duration of the film you've got um, Jiro's friend who helps him with his designs and Jiro is actually the, the main genius and um, <coughs> He's the one that actually developed the the streamlined design for the, the Zeros that were produced later on. And there's some truth into this film, actually. So that was that's what makes it even that much more um, sensational. And as far as films are concerned, this is probably one of my favorite um, animes of all time. It's just absolutely beautifully done and glorious to look at and very enlightening ex um, despite the fact that um, Judo is kind of a bittersweet hero but I won't say why because if I do it'll give away a huge plot point um, I'm really not sure what else to say about this particular movie other than I like the dreamlike quality between um, Jiro's dreams and then just that versus the reality of his dream coming to light. And it just really is um, astonishing when it does. It's quite stellar. And his design was absolutely... <laughs> spellbinding when they saw it and they couldn't believe it that something so streamlined could, could fly that way but he had a certain mechanism of making it work so well as it did and he knew what he was doing and his love for Naori actually helped him in the process of um, developing the framework for the zero in and of itself, according to this telling of his um, his tale, and um, he's just he's a great role model, and even Naori in, her, in and of herself, she's she's a great role model too, even though you know she does something kind of cowardly. But had I been in her shoes, I I wouldn't want to be a burden to anybody. I would try to keep myself away from people. Uh, and 
not have them have to, to uh, put up with me, basically. If I were ever in that situation, I wouldn't want anybody to come close to me at all. I thought, no. Yeah, I, I can kind of relate to Naori in that sense. Um, although I've, I've never had what she has. And, and like I say, what, what she had. But, um, small spoiler alert there. Um, but how Miyazaki, he really creates quite the masterpiece in, in this particular film. It ends kind of, um, kind of bittersweet in a way with, uh, the ending of the dream in and of itself with, uh, meeting the Count again. And, um, there's a German man, well, they go to, they go to Germany because, um, they've been wanting to get some inspiration, but there's a German man that they meet and the secret police are after him, but you, you don't really have to wonder what happens to him. It's just, it's very sad because... He just proves that at that time, not all Germans were bad people. And I like that perspective, too, as I'm mostly German. And, <laughs> you know, I, I went through a time in high school where people called me a Nazi. And I just, you know, I thought that was kind of ignorant at the time. I thought, how can you call me that? I'm not a Nazi. I, I like Jewish people. In fact, some of my best friends are Jewish. So, I just, I didn't understand where that was coming from and why they were saying such cruel, hateful things. They were just being stupid, I think. They just were jealous and wanted to really rub something in my face that wasn't even prevalent at the time. And I wasn't even racist. And I just thought, good this this movie gives a different example of uh german people as a as a whole a lot of germans are good people i mean i can say that myself having been more than half german i'm actually three three quarters but um that's basically all i had to say about the wind rises if you haven't seen it i would highly recommend it it's just quite the gorgeous movie it'll take your breath away the colors are just vibrant and dazzling they, they leap off the screen I think kind of reminds me of a watercolor painting I'm and I'm a big fan of art and now um Naori is actually an artist and you find her painting quite a bit and you can see her with her easel and um she has quite a bit of talent, and <laughs> the German, when he's talking to, um, to Jiro, he says, uh, all artists and engineers have a 30-year limit of creativity. I thought, that's not true, because I have been creative before I ever knew how to type, how, uh, when I got the actual ability to, when I learned how to type properly and when whatnot. And ever since I could put my finger to a console, I have been typing, um, and I'm still typing. And it's been, what, since I was 10 years old. So that, yeah, that's that's quite a while. I'm, I'm 35 now, so that's really an astonishing duration. It's, it's almost like an impossible duration, and I, I rarely ever have any writer's block. But <coughs> I guess I'm crazy lucky that way. The ideas just come, they won't leave me alone. But hopefully, someday I'll be able to publish something. Um, let's see if I can get to my latest uh, this Azure Mist. Here are, I'm going to actually post this on um, Facebook, but here are all my characters as keepers of the seven keys. Um, I'll probably explain that story a little bit more to you later. I can't do it right now because I'm, I'm just so tired. And then there's uh, Eros, the god of love. And the tale I was writing about him is called um, <coughs> Eros Falling. And uh, I better end that on a happy note. And I'm still working on Keepers of the Seven Keys. And I just started writing the motorcade. 
Motorcade is a story that's kind of like Mad Max, kind of, um, you know, anarchy. It, it, it kind of reminds me of Clockwork Orange, but it's, it's different. It's like Clockwork Orange met Mad Max met the Arithmetist, and all of this combination is put together inside of my diabolical brain and put on paper. <laughs> But it's very elaborate, and I'm only in the process of, of writing um, my main characters and their um, their place in society, where 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 they um, where they fit in, what group they're in, because I have different people that are that are important in and of their own ways, and you have really shades of good and evil. Because there's no such thing as being completely good or being completely evil. There are always variations thereof. Um, it's basically all I have to say. All I've been working on. Uh, I'm nearly finished with this. Uh, not a secret life of bees. I've already read that. I'm reading the mermaid chair for the second time. Um, I got quite a few books to read, which I haven't read right now. But I think I'm gonna have more time since I was like, go for my job. Yeah, I know. That just happened today, but, you know, I'm not really upset about it. It's actually a blessing in disguise, so I can spend more time looking for something I actually enjoy doing. But, that's basically all I have to tell you, and until next time, later, ciao.